good morning students today we will have the revisions of rocks and mineral lesson number 6 so in the lesson number 6 uh, we will have the reading today and uh, after that we will uh, complete all the questions first uh, that lesson what is there in this lesson rocks and minerals the earth crust is made up of soil and rocks earth crust is made up of soil and rocks all rocks are made up of substance called mineral means the earth crust it is made up of the soil and rocks and all the rocks are made of substance called minerals clear hai next hai rocks and their types most rocks are used are usually most rocks are usually made up of one or more minerals rocks are of different kinds and colors rocks are of different kind and colors in nature rocks are formed in nature rocks are formed in various ways in nature rocks are formed in various ways depending on depending on how they are formed rocks are classified into three type number 1 igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks the core of the earth is made up of molten rocks and gases the core of earth is made up of molten rocks and gases the molten rock is known as magma the molten rock is known as magma sometime this hot magma is sometime this hot magma this hot material is pushed upward by the pressures of other rocks and comes out through the weak points on the surface of the earth this is known as the volcanic eruptions this is known as the volcanic eruptions clear students the molten rock is known as magma and this uh, when this magma come out from the weak points on the surface of earth this is known as the volcanic eruptions the magma that reaches the surface of the earth is called lava the magma that reaches on the surface of the earth that is called the lava that is called lava and it later cool and solidifies to form igneous rocks when this lava solidifies and cool down it becomes igneous rocks these rocks contain minerals such as quartz then mica feldspar and magnesium these are magnesium the type of igneous rocks formed depend on the the type of igneous rock formed depend on the type of minerals depend on the type of minerals that magma contains that magma contains and the rate at which and the rate at which it cools down some examples of igneous rocks are some examples of igneous rocks are granite obsidian pumic and basalt again i'll read it out the examples of igneous rocks granite obsidian then is a pumic and basalts which are described 
below. Now, granite will now study about this uh, granite and details. The granite and igneous rocks are here, but little bit will in detail will study about granite. It is very hard, igneous rock. It is very hard, igneous rock that is formed by slow cooling of that is formed by slow magma under the ground magma under the ground the rock consists of the rock consists of three minerals the rock consists of three minerals feldspars quartz and mica the color of granite gray or pink granite ka color kaun sa hai gray or pink depend upon the proportions depend upon the proportions of different minerals in it it depends on the proportions of the different minerals available in it it is used for making the buildings granite is used for making the buildings flooring and statues granite is used for making the buildings flooring and statues now students will study about this there the obsidian there is the obsidian it is a smooth and look almost like the black glass it is formed by cooling of lava above the ground due to sharp edges it is used to make cutting tools it is used to make cutting tools and weapons it is also used to make jewelries and ornaments it is also used to make jewelry and ornaments pumic it is a light gray it is a light gray or cream colored rock formed by quick cooling of lava it is porous that it has a lot of holes it has lots of holes in it which are formed by the gases which are found by the gases trapped inside it at the time of formations pumic is the only rock pumic is the only rock that can float it is used in cosmetic industries as construction material etc it is also used as a scrubber to remove the dead skin from the body next next is a next is a hello dear yes, students now you make it is a very light gray or the cream colored rock formed by quick formed by quick cooling of lava it is porous it is porous that is that is it has a lot of holes it has lots of hole in it which are formed by the gases trapped inside it at the time of formations pumic is the only rock that can float it is used in cosmetic industries as construction material etc it also used as a scrubbers 
to remove dead skin from the body. Basalt, it is a dark color. Basalt, this is a basalt. It is a dark color rock found by cooling of lava in it in the surface of the earth. Since it is very dense, since it is very dense, and it often used for construction of roads. For construction of roads, we are using the basalt. Next is the sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are used. Sedimentary rocks, they are rains, comma, wind, rivers, and streams. And flowing down the mountains, flowing down the mountains, carry small pieces of rocks, carry small pieces of rocks, which get powdered, which get powdered as they rub the bump, as they rub and bump against each other. These small bits, these small bits and powdered rock are carried down and deposited at the and deposited at the bottom of lakes. Bottom of lakes and oceans. These are called sediments. These are called sediments. They get deposited. They get deposited in the form of layers, in the form of layers with time. These layers are cemented together by minerals. Their own weight and gravity. The layers slowly harden to form sedimentary rocks. Some examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone, shell, then conglomerates and limestone. They are described below. They are described below. Sandstone, it is a soft rock formed by the sand particles cemented together with minerals. Cemented together with minerals like silica and quartz. Like silica and quartz, it is pink, yellow or red in colors. The red fort and the Kutuminar in Delhi are made of lead of red stone. Red fort, Kutuminar in Delhi are made of red sandstones. So students, this is about the sandstone. Now we'll study about the shell. That the shell it is a soft rocky made up of the mud and the clay particles piled up in layers. They piled up in the layers. It is used to make the tiles. It is used to make the tiles, bricks, bricks tiles and bricks, etc. Conglomerate, it is very hard rock made up of the gravels, pebbles and stones cemented together by minerals. It is uneven and coarse in textures. It is used for polishing ornaments. Limestone, it is a soft rock. It is a soft rock. It is made up of minerals called, called calcites and shells of animals shells of animals. It is used to make cement. It is used to make cement. Then bricks, chalk, glasses, lime, etc. Lime, etc. Lime, etc. Then lime, etc. Metamorphic rocks due to the enormous due to enormous 
heat and pressures due to enormous heat and pressures due to enormous heat and pressures under the surface of the earth mineral present in the sedimentary and igneous rocks undergo changes in other words the metamorphosis or change into other forms the new rocks thus formed the are called metamorphic rocks some examples of metamorphic rocks are kya kya ho sakte hai uske metamorphic rock ke marble slate then quartzite and and the gneiss which these described below मार्बल के बारे में बात करते हैं स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट दी मार्बल्स मार्बल क्या है इट इज अ मेटामोर्फस सेडिमेंट्री रॉक फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम लाइमस्टोन इट इज कॉमनली यूज फॉर फ्लोरिंग इट इज कॉमनली यूज फॉर फ्लोरिंग टू मेक स्टेच्यूज एंड बिल्डिंग्स द ताजमहल इन इंडिया इज अ फाइन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ the use of white marble slate shells a uh, sedimentary rocks is metamorphosed into slate a hard and smooth rocky rock which can be split into layers it is used to make slates tiles and blackboards etc now now quartzite it is formed from the sedimentary rocks it is formed from the sedimentary rocks called sandstones and it is a very hard rock and is weather resistant it is used in glass and ceramic industries and is also used in making jewelries and ornaments now gneiss granite a kind of the igneous rock changes to form gneiss gneiss and it has a stripped or streaked appearance due to the presence of different minerals in it it is used as a building materials clear students now next is a we'll study about this minerals on page number 69 of your book minerals ke bare mein padhte hain student minerals kya hai minerals are naturally occurring solid substances minerals are naturally occurring solid chemical substances found inside or on the surface of earth rocks may be formed of one type of mineral such as marble such as marble or a mixture of many minerals as granite then minerals can be metallic or non metallic minerals can be metallic or non metallic metallic minerals they occur metallic minerals they occur in the form of ore they occur in the form of ore rocks that contain minerals rocks that contain minerals are known as ore they are known as ore dobara se main bol raha hu dobara se pad raha hu usko metallic minerals they occur in the form of ore rocks that contain minerals are known as ores they are known as ores the metals obtained from them are used the metal obtained from them are used for various purposes for various purposes aur kya hai student dekhiye aur diya hua hai 
then metal obtain have then uses hematite iron hematite is an ore of iron and it is used for manufacturing steels now bauxite is of aluminium ore bauxite kya hai aluminium ka ore hai and it is transportations then copperite copper pyrite pyrite is a ore of copper and it is used for making the it is used for making the wires wires next is a it is a sapphire sapphire zinc sapphire it is a zinc then paints inks and plastics etc now non metallic minerals then calcites gypsum mica feldspar etc are the sum of the common non metallic minerals coal and petroleum are valuable non metallic minerals that continue that contribute greatly to our total energy supply they are called fossil fuels they are called fossil fuels fossil fuels fossil fuel what was fossil fuels are formed by the decompositions of dead and decay fossil fuels are found by the dead and decay animals and plants they take a long time to form as it is a slow process it is a slow process the fossil fuels the fossil fuels include coal and petroleum coal and petroleum they are known as the fossil fuels okay which contains high percentage of carbons now coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock composed mostly on the carbon and hydrocarbons and it is and it is formed from the remains of plants and got buried deep inside the earth millions of years ago our millions uh, there's a over there's a millennia millennia that due to heat and pressures inside the earth these materials decayed and changed into coal so there are many varieties of coal such as anthracite bituminous bituminous and lignites and pit now coal is used as coal jo hai hum uska use karte hain page number 70 pe dekhiye coal ki kya use hai students coal is used for cooking for producing electricity in steam engines in blast furnaces in steel industries petroleum it is formed from the remains of plants and animals it is formed from the it is formed from the remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago over years the remains of these plants and animals were covered by layers of sand and silt heat and pressures from these layers helped the remains turn into what we today known as that the petroleum petroleum is used as a fuel in the vehicles and it is also used for the dry cleaning class for making the lubricants industrial waxes printing ink and medicines etc now conservations of coal and petroleum 
fossil fuels like coal and petroleum take millions of years to form once these deposits of fossil fuels are exhausted they will no longer be available to us so we need to conserve these fossil fuels and use them wisely we should switch to alternative sources of energy like solar energy wind energy alternative source ke bare mein student ab humko sochna chahiye us pe work karna chahiye because coal and petroleum one day they will get exhausted so other that is the resources alternative so resources are solar energy wind energy hydro power energy they are always available to us so this was the students today we have that it was a reading of the lesson the rocks and mineral aapko bhi kya karna hai students isko aapko learn karna hai theek hai student uh, then key terms hai that also you have to learn tomorrow we will do this uh, back exercise uh, means inside the the, the questions the internal questions and uh, back exercise followed by short questions and long questions also to so, aapka jo key terms hai rocks ke bare mein diya hua student rocks kya hai solid substances that make up makes up the earth crust and igneous rocks rocks formed due to the cooling of lava sedimentary rocks rocks formed by the deposit by the depositions of sediments or powdered rocks at the bottom of the lakes and oceans now metamorphic rocks are formed due to the change in the sedimentary and igneous rocks minerals naturally occurring naturally occurring solid chemical substances that make up of rocks fossil fuels natural fuel formed by the depositions of dead and decayed decayed plants and animals so student this was the your key terms of lesson number 6 rocks and minerals aapko padhna hai achhi tarah se reading lena hai students and note down the difficult word also so the tomorrow we'll continue with the internal questions followed by back exercise very short short and long questions and hard questions now if you are having doubt please you can ask to me students you can raise your hands yes students aapko 